When Ferguson happened, it caught us off guard. Now, not the situation that led up to it. We know those things have been happening for a long time. But the action and the reaction to what had happened in our city caught us off guard. We didn't know what to do. Some of us was caught with our pants down. Some of us was like, well, you know, it's not me. It's not in my backyard. I don't live there. Oh, I don't know those people. But at the end of the day, you realize it affected you in a major way because what happened in Ferguson went global. That's where the three of us met. You see the connections? You see how quick it is to connect I and share with them at the dinner table that I had written a letter to the mayor. They believe in what I had written and say, you know what? I want to help. And so this is what my letter said. A letter to our St. Louis mayor. Dear Mayor Cruson, my name is Dr. Marty K. Casey, and we have had the pleasure of meeting many times. Today, I am writing you publicly in hopes that this letter will reach you immediately. I am riding with the sentiments of most, I believe. I am very confident in saying so because being born and raised in St. Louis, every day I have watched the city's growth and failures firsthand. I have been here for every celebration from the Cardinals, the Rams, and most recently the Blues. Our city can throw a party like overnight when we win a championship. We pop bottles, sell t-shirts, cups, and food. I mean, we have a million dollar street party like kings and queens. However, as we have been dealing with the tragedy of innocent children being gunned down in the city, we have done nothing to combat the sadness of the city's residents. We are all suffering from PTSD, especially our black and brown communities. We need something to happen in a positive positive uprising way or the damage that has been caused will continue to grow in others. I am asking for the city to throw a free concert to heal our city. Stand up St. Louis concerts. We need free booths of mental health providers on site screening and providing additional help to our residents. We need bouncy houses. We need love circles where, where we can come and join hands of people we don't know, but we can circle up and picture, and a picture can be taken of these groups committing as they are physically showing love. We need laughter. Please invite and pay our top St. Louis comedians to come back to give us their love and support. We need performers of all genres. We need to see us stand up for the entire city. We need to start a victim's fund that will continue to give these family free mental health care along with other emergency assets. We need to give back and heal this city now. All of the major leagues that we have supported, we're now asking them to stand up with us too. Bring them out on the stage to say that they care. Let's take the stage together and show St. Louis that we care. I said that I needed a break because of the mental and physical wear and tear that this has all taken on me. However, when we say yes to this, I will pull strength out of my ears and elbows to make this happen. I will help you hire the top people for the jobs and opportunities to stand up for our city at such a time like this. This would be healing for me and so many others. Mayor, I believe your heart will say yes. And for that, I thank you in advance for not being a politician in office, but first being a heart but first being a hurt human in St. Louis. Sincerely, Dr. Marty K. Casey, I'm ready. And please share this if you agree to this letter. We want this to reach her expeditiously. I put a picture up of she and I, and on that day, um, over a period of a few days, there was 140 comments and 284 shares. On Facebook, I am Marty K. Casey. I encourage you today to find this letter and to share this letter in groups, to share this letter with, with your reach. We want to continue to move this letter, but beyond the mayor's moving and uh, putting action behind what was asked, it doesn't matter because she's just one person, but together collectively, we can move mountains. We can move mountains, and so we're asking you today if you would be willing to join us to move this mountain in a positive way so that we can cover everyone. I just want to say one more thing before I pass the mic and before we move on to some fun games here to connect us if you're saying yes to helping. However, I want you to look at it like this. Our black and brown communities, unfortunately, have been suffering for a long time. And I, I'm speaking on our behalf right now, if you will receive that. 
And I work every day in this city for all people, not just for my people and my culture, but for all cultures, because that's what love is. However, I wanna to say to you, if there is one person in this area right now that is affected with a disease, we all become subject to catching that same disease. Today it might be me and my culture, but tomorrow it could be you and yours. So the bottom line is why don't we come together and we heal each other right now so we all can be healthy in the city of St. Louis, right?